This is a homunculus. It represents the expansion of the body parts relative to the amount of brain uh, of the sensory cortex that is used by humans. He looks very bizarre, but he tells us exactly how much of our brain is dedicated to, say, touch in our hands versus, say, touch in our elbows. One of the very interesting ways to talk about our senses is to understand how our senses, such as sight, really work. We use an art piece by Devorah Sperber that's made up of spool threads. And when you first see it, it doesn't look like much, but when you look at it through a focusing orb, it turns into the Mona Lisa. This piece is very good at explaining how vision works. Oftentimes, we can be fooled by what we see in here, and our brains are very good at filling in. One of the exhibits that we have is a sound exhibit where you hear the sound of rain hitting the sidewalk, and you're induced to think that it's rain hitting the sidewalk because of a large graphic. You turn the corner, and lo and behold, the sound really emanates from uh, frying bacon. In a lot of cases, our senses fuse together, and this is called synesthesia. Behind us, we see Kiki and Booba. You can tell which one's Kiki and which one's Booba. The sharp one is Kiki. The round one is Booba to most people. This is a, a very common thing that cuts across cultures, and it's a mixture of our, our uh, sense of touch with our sense of sight. Once we talk about how senses get into your brain, we have to talk about how those senses are passed around the brain. And this is done through the cells of your brain and through connections made uh, between the cells of your brain uh, called synapses. And we have created a, a, an interactive called the synapse table that is a very interesting exhibit where the image of hands induces a computer to place down the image of a, of a nerve cell and then the nerve cells start to connect to each other producing synapses.